how to create more interesting and engaging paintings. You may have heard of contrast as an art fundamental, and you may think that you should try and create as much contrast as possible for a better painting. Here is a very important tip that nobody talks about, which is contrast creates drama and you don't always need drama especially if you're painting a very peaceful landscape painting you want your viewers to feel calm when they look at your painting so you don't want to create too much tension or drama by having really high contrast um, color temperature or values in the painting but if you want to create more excitement and interest in your painting try to limit your highest contrast to your focal area you don't want to create too much tension all over the painting especially around the edges and what i mean by contrast is not just contrast in value or how light or dark a color is i also mean contrast in color temperature like having your uh, complementary colors very close to each other like red and green or yellow and purple this is a very important tip and just paying more attention to it can really improve your paintings now I am going to talk a little about the painting process. For this painting, I used um, Saunders watercolor paper and my board is at an angle. So colors just naturally uh, flew down the paper. I started by wetting some sections in the sky area and I made sure to leave a white section for the light. Then I added very light um, watered down washes of um, raw sienna first and then I added burnt sienna to the mixture too. Uh, while everything was wet, I mixed a gray color using the burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. I especially wanted to use um, a color that I already used in the painting which is burnt sienna here to create more uh, harmony, color harmony in my painting. I made sure to create variety in my colors and every time I went back to my palette to get more color, I added more uh, French ultramarine or burnt sienna to just change the colors a little bit. This uh, really helps to create um, more interesting paintings. Then I used the same colors to paint the water and I made sure that um, the value of the water is darker than the sky. This is so far my first wash and I'm going to strengthen the colors a little bit more later on in the painting. Uh, when everything was completely dry, I wetted some um, section for the background trees but I made sure that I left some uh, areas um, dry so when I paint my trees I kind of have some um, lost and found edges. Here I'm painting the grasses in clusters using the same brush. Uh, you definitely don't want to paint the grasses one by one and uh, you can just make sure that there is basically no water left in your brush and just take some really thicker paint and just separate the bristles if you can. And if you haven't done this before, uh, practice it on a piece of paper just to see how your brush acts. And it has to be the same kind of paper that you're painting on because it may give you a different result. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial 
If you did, please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Happy painting. Thank you.